This morning, we find ourselves at the bottom of Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain is behind me. You really can't see a lot of it right now. Low cloud, thick snow, uh, but what an amazing morning. Over the last two days, we've had a lot of snowfall here in central Ontario. March the 31st, would you believe three days ago, it was beautiful sunshine, about 15 degrees Celsius. Today, blowing snow, it's about minus two degrees Celsius, so it's not majorly cold, but a lot of fresh snow has fallen, and that's what we're going to look at today. We're heading up behind me, Blue Mountain, on this dirt country road, about halfway up the mountain. There, hopefully, we're gonna pick up a trail that's gonna take us to what remains of the ruins of Castle Glen. How are we gonna find Castle Glen today? With all this fresh snow, I don't even know if we're gonna find the trail today. Um, and if we do find the trail, could we follow it? Um, I don't know. Very doubtful unless others have been there before me uh, to leave marks in the trail, in the snow. We're gonna see. But hey, it's Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's head up there. Let's just see what we can find today. Let's see what images we can capture, what adventures we can get into. Let's go. It's a steep climb along the trail. Right now we're about 20 minutes in uh, to the hike, uh, into the climb, but it's beautiful. Take a look at all the fresh uh, fallen snow on the trees, the branches, the trunks, uh, the side of this uh, kind of gravel country uh, lane, if you will. Absolutely amazing. What a beautiful place to be today. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Let's keep pushing on. Let's keep going. So at this particular point, along this country dirt gravel road, uh, it ceases to exist. Well, actually, the gravel road's still here, but there's a sign back there that says, no winter maintenance beyond this point. From here, it becomes uh, just a trail in the snow. Ahead of me um, are two hikers. The trail looks well trodden, which means it must be quite a popular uh, trail. I know uh, we're entering up into the area of the Bruce Trail here in Ontario, um, which I'm a little bit familiar with. I have hiked sections of that trail before. Uh, I don't know if you can see over on the tree, there's a blue marker that's actually marking part of a particular published uh, trail here in Ontario. So hey, um, it's an amazing, an amazing morning. Let's keep going. Okay, right here uh, behind me, the trail, or well, there is a trail running off the main trail uh, into the forest, into the woods. That's the continuation of the main trail. And right here, the trail that breaks off. It's marked no trespassing. Now, from what I've been told before, uh, the trail to Castle Glen is also marked no trespassing. Um, however, I'm told it's generally not a problem to go to the Castle Glen, show respect, um, leave no garbage, leave no trace. That's okay. But is this a trail? I don't know. Uh, but you know what? The trail is here. We're going to take that trail. I'm told from the beginning or the cutoff, it's about 45 minutes to Castle Glen. That's on a, a normal kind of summer's day. Today, in the winter conditions with the deep snow, probably longer, maybe an hour, don't know. Let's head down there and let's see what we find. So, this trail, it does kind of open out into a um, elevated kind of position, if you will, overlooking the valley. So you can see below uh, where we've climbed today. So far, anyhow, Hey, let's continue this trail. Um, when I decided to do this, 
a particular trail or this area, this hike today. It's an area I have not done before. So first time, very much kind of a recce uh, exploration, if you will. Uh, taking a look, taking a look at the trail, getting to know the trails, seeing what's here. And today, some absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trees covered in snow. Uh, we are going to be uh, capturing images. I feel sure of that. Only because, one thing I always say, even though this is a recce and I plan to come back here, you never actually know if you will make it back here. So, uh, we are going to capture images today, anyhow. But for now, we're going to continue following this trail, which hopefully brings us to the remains, the ruins, if you will, of the actual Castle Glen itself. Let's see. First composition of the day. Just off the trail, fresh fallen snow, beautiful tall uh, maples, um, impact snow along the side of the, the trunks and branches. Absolutely a beautiful, beautiful scene. We're on the tripod. By the way, I'm back to my old tripod right now. Uh, you may recall I bought, bought one, um, which was the um, K and F concept a 72 inch pro you know what it fell apart within a week of being on the trail it fell apart so I'm back to the old one I did send the, the, that one back and I got a refund and I'm back to the old one so back to the drawing board gotta come up with another tripod if anybody's got any suggestions out there post them at the bottom leave a comment about hey I like which particular tripod I'll check it out okay Canon 5D Mark II, 24 to 70 mil lens, a 40 mil focal length, ISO 100, F8, 1, 250th of a second, two second timer. There's my image. Mmm, love it. You know what? We'll just go to, just because we can, let's go to, well, let's again take another shot with what the camera tells me is correctly exposed. Then, Let's go to one stop over, capture a shot. One stop under, capture a shot. Three images, possible, possible HDR, <coughs> who knows? Either way, it gives me that data to work with. Wow, we've got some beautiful light coming from our right right now, um, which wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> when I depress the shutter release. So you know what, we're probably going to take these images again uh, because we're getting some beautiful light from the sky, uh, from the right now, which is going to change things a little bit. Oh, it's changed things a lot. One five hundredths of a second. Wow, correctly exposed. One stop over. One three hundred and twentieth of a second. And one stop under. One twelve hundred and fiftieth of a second. It's super bright out here. Uh, there's white snow everywhere. Pristine white snow, super bright. Absolutely an amazing, an amazing morning. This could very well be, uh, today being the last day of March, April, tomorrow, um, this could be the last kind of winter photography scene that we get the opportunity to photograph for this particular season. We are entering rapidly into the spring. As I mentioned earlier, just a couple of days ago, it was plus 15 and sunshine. None of this snow was here. This just fell over the last two days. Uh, so this time of year, it's up and down. Um, tomorrow we could be plus 20 degrees Celsius. We don't know. So yeah, this could be the last of the winter kind of scenes. But you know what? Spring is an amazing time, full of new life, new growth, new adventures, new images to capture. Hey, let's change composition slightly, grab a couple of more shots, and then carry on down the trail and see if we can find uh, the remains and the ruins of Castle Glen. Let's do that. Just take a look at my next composition. Right along the trail itself, uh, a little bit of a stream running through uh, the snow, the trail, the tall trees, 
drifting off into the distance and ri rising up into the hills. Amazing. Portrait of vertic vertical orientation. Two second timer. Wow. Let's just do one more of those. Just to be sure. You know what? It does get a lot better than this, that's for sure. But not today it doesn't. Today it's absolutely perfect and you know there's nowhere else I'd rather be than right here, right now. If we've got anything from that image, let's pop it up and have a look at it right now. Let's carry on down the trail. Let's keep going towards the ruins, the remains of Castle Glen. Wow. I think along this trail, I'm starting to see the Castle Glen uh, through the trees. Um, so let's just see here. Yes, definitely. Definitely seeing Castle Glen. Wow. Well, here we are. We've definitely found what we were looking for today. Uh, there is a fence around it, um, okay. But this is definitely uh, what we're looking for today. The ruins of Castle Glen. Yeah, I don't know much about this location. Uh, I haven't actually had the opportunity to uh, study up on the history of this. I just know uh, that it's here. But anyhow, maybe I will uh, get the opportunity to study up and I'll maybe put something in a caption about it. Wow. Well, it's always good when uh, you find a location, kind of when a plan comes together, if you will. That's always a good thing. Wow. Okay. I think I think I'm going to uh, just take a little look around, walk around the, the location, the property, maybe come up with a composition and grab an image or two. Yeah. So right now uh, we're set up on the tripod. Um, it is snowing. It's a fine snow, but it's kind of blowing a little bit. Um, so it is impacting the lens of my camera that I'm trying to keep clean. My composition, pretty much generic, basic composition, almost straight on, slight 30 degree angle. Two second timer, F8, focal length of 24 mil. And you know what? There is my shot. Simple. Uh, really is quite amazing. What I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of an ND filter. I'm thinking of trying to slow things down and maybe catching, catching a little bit of movement in the snow. Even though it's a very fine snow, um, I don't know if I'll be able to capture that in the uh, in the camera, but let's set up and give it a try. Okay, so on the camera, what I am trying out right now, by the way, is some new uh, circular ND filters. I've put the 10 stop on there. Now, I've been thinking about some circular ND filters because it does allow me to put the hood back on after I've attached the filter, whereas my square or my 100 and 150 Cockland Z series does not allow me to do that. So when it's snowing or it's raining, I get that on that filter and I can't stop it. Uh, this way with the hood, maybe I can help control that a little bit. It's giving me at ISO 100 F11, 1 20th of a second, two second timer, there's my shot. Is that enough to capture any motion blur in this very, very, very fine, fine um, snow today? I kind of doubt it. I can stack these filters and I have others. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so with the 10 stop, I've just stacked another or a second two stop ND filter, circular ND filter. It's giving me 1 13th of a second. There's my two second timer. Or not okay there's my image um, hey let's see what happened let's see if we got anything out of that and if we did let's pop it up right here
Okay, the wind's picking up, temperature's dropping, <sighs> starting to get cold. Uh, the day's progressing. Um, temperatures dropped to about minus five, minus six degrees Celsius right now. We achieved our goal today. We found the ruins of Glen Castle, uh, which means we can come back again now. Um, so right now we're gonna pack up. We're gonna head back down this trail to the main trail, and then we're gonna descend back down Blue Mountain to where we parked the car. It took me about two and a half hours to get up here. I'm guessing it's gonna take me an hour and maybe an hour and a half to get back because we're descending and we know where we're going this time. Hey, let's get going. Right now, we're about halfway back down uh, to where we park our van. It's been very interesting. So glad I got out here today. Uh, thick, deep, heavy snow at the top. Um, less snow here, of course. Uh, we're back into a section on the country uh, back road uh, that the uh, winter plows do come down and plow um, so it's a little easier going now than it was back up there I think I'm gonna end this vlog here so hey let's have a cup of coffee well deserved uh, take a look at a few of the images from today and just relax and you know what guys I look forward to seeing you next time bye bye Wonderful.